Okay, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be pretty fun to look at the driving careers of all 20 drivers on our grid, starting today with Esteban Akon. So looking at Esteban Akon, he is a 23 year old driver who drives for Renault F1, the Frenchman driving for the French team. So far in his Formula One career, he's got 53 starts, zero wins and podiums so far, 140 points. And the star here is for, he is the first driver and holds the record to run 27 Grand Prix to start his career and finish every one of those races. So a pretty good start. Let's see how his career started though. His early career, he would begin karting at, in 2006. In 2007, he would win the French title for the Mini Me title, which is a fantastic name for a karting series. 2008, he would win the French Cadet title. And in 2009, he would move to the KF3 series and win the title there as well. So off to a really amazing start in his karting career, winning basically a title per year. Uh, as someone who grew up driving quarter midgets here in the States, I wish I could say I had similar stats. I definitely did not. At 14 years of age, he signs with Renault, finally. No, not quite. He signs with their sister team, Gravity Sports Management, and goes Formula Racing. For a Formula Renault, he would get six podiums and one win. In 2014 and 2015, he moves to Formula 3, and he would score titles in the European F3 Series and the GP3 Series, winning championships in both. In his Formula 1 career, in 2016, Renault F1 uh, announced that he would be a reserve driver for the season uh, while he was still competing down in F3. However, he winds up making his debut at the 2016 Belgian Grand Prix for Manor Racing, replacing one of their drivers the remainder of that year, and he scores a 16th place finish. In 2017, Force India announces that they will be signing Esteban Alcom to the entire next season, and he will join Sergio Perez. He has a pretty solid 2017, scores 87 points, and finishes 8th overall in the driving standings. So, really, really great uh, year to start off. 2018, things start going awry for him a little bit, uh, not just him, but Force India in general. Uh, first of all, Esteban Alcon and Sergio Perez start ha having several issues on track. It actually dates back to the 2017 Belgium Grand Prix. If any of you remember watching that race, there was a controversial collision between the two of them. And unfortunately, that would continue into the start of 2018. Um, to make matters a little worse for Alcon, Sergio Perez found the podium early in the season, so the Pressure definitely switched back onto him. And then midway through the season, the team goes into administration. Uh, Lawrence Stroll leads a team of investors to want to buy in Force India, becomes Racing Point, which is the name that they still used for the remainder of the season before becoming Aston Martin Racing next year. We find out uh, halfway through the year, obviously with Stroll buying the team, it's likely that Lance Stroll will be joining. So everyone kind of knew that Sergio Perez, who did a lot to help save this team, was probably not going anywhere. And we find out Esteban Alcon has a verbal agreement to join Renault in 2019. And then Daniel Ricardo shocks the F1 world by leaving Red Bull Racing and Renault jumps at the opportunity to sign Daniel and they lock him up for a two-year deal. Alcon would wind up struggling to a 12th place finish in the driver standings with only 49 points on the season, which doesn't do him any favors trying to get another ride for 2019. And with his 2019 in doubt, he winds up signing on for Mercedes as a reserve driver, which is where he spent all of last season. However, in 2020, in August of 2019, it was announced that for 2020, the partnership that's kind of been building his whole career finally happens, and he signs for Renault Racing. We got the French driver and the French team finally partnered. And so far, through three rounds, in round one, he qualified 14th and finished 8th. In round two, he qualified fifth, and they had an overheating issue with the car. He wound up having to retire it. Kind of similar technical issues that Ricardo had in week one. In round three, he qualifies 14th, finishes 14th. So far, he's 13th overall in driver standings with four points on the season. Uh, should be noted, the Renault race cars look pretty fast. I mean, they're usually in the top 10, you know, between 5 and 10th during the Grand Prix, but they seem to keep having technical issues, and as long as that keeps happening, um, they're going to keep finishing out of the points a lot. So hopefully that'll turn around. We get to see him and Daniel Ricardo finish out the season together, and then the man comes in next year. Fernando Alonso will be his teammate. Esteban Akon is 
signed for one more year after this. So he signed through to the 2022 season, but for 2022, we don't know what he's going to do next. So he's out of contract after 2021. Um, you know, is he going to be a, a driver that keeps floating in and out of teams, maybe dropping in and out of Formula One for a while? Do you think he's going to make his mark here at Renault and, and hold down a try for a while? Let me know. He's 23 years old. Would you like to see him stay in Formula One? Do you think he'll stay in Formula One? Or do you think he's going to be one of these cusp drivers for the remainder of his career? Uh, if you come across this video or you've liked any of my videos so far, please hit like and subscribe. I'd love to know what you guys think of them and get your feedback. I'm going to keep trying to do videos like this as much as I can. My goal is to do daily, but I will definitely be churning out some of these uh, at least every other day. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.